Hello and welcome to this short video introducing you to SMTP archiving. My name is Phil Walters and I'm a consultant working for a company called Adeptech. So SMTP archiving was introduced in Enterprise Vault 1101. In fact, it was one of the, the main features in that release. What this enables you to do is to run an SMTP service on your Enterprise Vault server which will receive obviously SMTP emails, usually on the standard TCP port 25. Those emails could come from a journal feed from an exchange server. It could come from Office 365. So we could journal out of Office 365 to an Enterprise Vault server running the SMTP service. Also many other devices such as scanners, printers can send SMTP emails so they could be ingested using the SMTP service. Also generic applications can send log files for instance using SMTP. So all that information can be ingested into an Enterprise Vault using SMTP archiving. So let's have a look at the architecture. So when we install the Enterprise Vault SMTP archiving components, one of the things we add is the SMTP service. The SMTP service is listening for traffic on TCP port 25. When those emails get received, they get processed and then sent to a holding folder. So this is a folder somewhere on the Enterprise Vault server. It needs to have plenty of disk space. It needs to be fast disk. Once the emails are in that holding folder, the SMTP archiving task can consider them as candidates for archiving. The archiving task is running all the time uh, and it's running according to the policies and so on that are configured. One of the things you actually have to configure is a target email address. And you can see that in the top right hand corner that we've got three target email addresses configured in this system. So for instance, if a journal email came on evsmtp one example.com and we've set up that target email address, then the archiving task will archive that item and put it into the appropriate archive. One of the things about SMTP archiving is that it can actually ingest emails into any type of archive. It doesn't have to be uh, an SMTP archive. It could be a mailbox archive. It could be a journal archive. So it's very flexible. There are three different deployment scenarios for SMTP archiving. The first one is SMTP journaling. So with this, you basically journal from your, uh, for instance, Exchange server or Office 365, journal out on a single address, which is a, a big benefit with this particular feature. And all those emails are then archived into that single archive. But we also have selective SMTP journaling. So what this means is, yes, we're journaling, say, from Exchange. So we only set up certain target email addresses within Enterprise Vault. So emails will only be archived for those particular target email addresses. The disadvantage of selective SMTP journaling is that it has to take the email apart, needs to look at the to and from to decide whether it's going to archive for that particular email address. So we have another deployment scenario, which is SMTP mailbox journaling. In this, we have a journal feed from Exchange. And now we're going to put the emails into mailbox archives for each of the users that we've configured as target email addresses. This could be a replacement for the standard Exchange mailbox archiving. So we'll look in much more detail at the selective SMTP journaling and SMTP mailbox journaling in a subsequent video. So what I suggest you do now is to check out the second part video, Introduction to SMTP Archiving, which is a demonstration video about how to set up SMTP Archiving.